What is up guys, Fatal82 coming at you with a weekly Rust update. I wanted to show off this week's patch and some of the more noteworthy features. So right off the bat guys, we have heat waves, or heat signatures rather, which come off of the campfires and furnaces. I'm not sure if it comes through in the video, but there's a bit of a hazy effect to the fire and also to the furnace when you stand around it now. You can sort of see it if you look at the bush there. Um, it's really cool, it's not groundbreaking or game changing in any way. But it just adds to the overall atmosphere of the game and helps to make it more of an immersive experience. Along with the addition of the heat waves, guys, another particular part of this week's patch is mixing up the variation of the building tiles inside of your bases and outside as well. Uh, by the walls now and the posts, any piece that you place, there's now sort of dirt patches that help mix up sort of the monotony of it and just add to an overall um, aesthetic to the game that's more of a, you know, rustic experience, if you will. Pretty cool. Again, not groundbreaking, uh, but a step in the right direction nonetheless. In addition, guys, another big piece of this week's patch is that you can now destroy or remove, rather, the door locks without having to use a tool to do so. So by simply going up to a lock that you have ownership of, that you've placed yourself, you can hold down the E button and bring up a menu here, um, and it now has an additional feature, which is remove the lock. So if you go ahead and click on it, it's going to remove that lock. It simply goes away. The lock does go in your inventory, so you can reuse it. You don't have to remake it. The meat has changed over to the new icon system in terms of its aesthetic appearance. So the meat now has more of that cartoony look to it, and it's more consistent in tone with, the, with where the game is going. It's a pretty cool feature. Again, not groundbreaking, but I like the new look of it, and I think it's pretty cool as well. We can see you have the spoiled wolf meat here, raw wolf meat, and then the cooked wolf meat. And the tone is consistent among all three, um, and the human meat as well. So, not groundbreaking, but cool nonetheless. And guys, another notable part about this week's patch is the skin tones have been adjusted. I'm still an African-American man, but my buddy, a gentle puppy here, in last week's update was a pasty white man who uh, looked like he was from the movie Powder. And now he looks like he's a black Asian man. Um... Nothing wrong with that, but it's just that the skin tones have changed. And the other noteworthy addition to this week's patch is there are now flinching animations. When you hit a character, you'll notice they flinch a little bit. The animals do this as well. Um, so oh, just I'm going to die. I lose all my hunger some performance enhancements that really affect the gameplay. In particular, procedural virtual texturing is set to being on from the get-go. In the past, you'd have to toggle it every time you logged in, which was a bit of a hassle, um, and now it is set to always being on. If I go ahead and take it off, you'll notice an immediate dip in performance. It's gone up down by about half, so you always want to make sure it's enabled, and now it does it for you. Along the same lines, guys, buildings now load in uh, differently, so there's going, they're going to be lower quality um, variations of the building depending on your load distance. So I'm not sure if you can see, but as you get closer to the building, it's going to uh, generate and become more apparent in terms of its detail. This has affects the performance as well. You can kind of see a little bit of uh, texture pop in, but it's okay because it's actually enhancing the performance by quite a bit. The texture pop in... Um, is a little bit noticeable but I'm sure that that'll be changed as well you can kind of see moving in and out you can kind of see the the overall quality of those bricks changing Another aspect of this week's patch guys is that it's added back in the ambient effects so we now can hear again the birds singing the crickets chirping uh, the I'm not even sure if there were crickets but we can hear all the shit so we can hear the birds the wolves howling and everything else um, another thing to note guys is the Arrow damage has changed. It used to do 70 damage per hit and now does 60. And the drop rate on the arrows used to be able to collect them. Used to be able to collect the arrows uh, at 100% drop rate and it is now at a drop rate of, uh, I believe it's 70%, 60 or 70%. So you can't pick up all your arrows, but you can pick up still the majority of them. 